Hello again to another Bootleg Buster video. This is episode 34. And today is the There is no franchise in this set or no any, shall we say, an item. In other words, figures, but it's something out of fun labour of love for Star Wars and all the middle figures to Disney. Here to the left we see bullet stormtroopers. And then here we see like a an X-Men pilot. We see here like a Darth Vader character and of course everyone's favourite bounty hunter, Boba Fett. Um doing this was of course in my journey in Australia. This is the last set I ever made. I think I did other stuff after this but I'll do it when I get back home to London. But anyway let's cut to the chase. <laughs> Here's the bootleg one. This was made out of, if I can remember, I bought four set of um, police officers. That's it, I bought four of police officers. And then um, I decided to turn for Star Wars characters because, one, you know, people like Suckadelic or Bootleg Killer and um, other bootleg artists always like to make parody of Star Wars figures. So this is my take on it. So I made this out of a bootleg police figure and I used two pot. No, no, I use, um, I keep forgetting that name, that yellow yellow and blue tape and mixed together those green, they call it green stuff here but it's called Epoxy. if I can remember but I think I got the thing somewhere in here but I can't do it right now anyway yep I paid all white acrylic and a few of it was um, Oscar acrylic marker and acrylic paint with the black detail I mean and yeah on the left it's made out of a two dollar shoulder toy and we paid with orange gold Oscar marker with belt and white for the um, life preserve what you want to call it and gold goggles and yeah hope you can see it mind you this is going raw so I'm not going to really put any photos based on these characters because you know this is basically out of flavor of, of um how should I say basically cut to the chase short and abbreviated and nothing too bad and expensive so yeah this is basically an X-Wing pilot you can say it's I have a Luke Skywalker called Poe from the new Star Wars film but yeah it's basically my parody of an X-Wing pilot call it evil I'm going to animate these because I did do a few animated shots but I haven't edited it yet so you never know, you might see it on my YouTube channel, so yeah, only time will tell. This is have to be my second favourite customised toy. It's basically Darth Vader, of course, as you can see by the um, helmet and the gas. That gas piece in his mouth, that was based on the actual toy. It's like a ninja type police officer with a ski mask and, um, and a gas mask. Yes, uh. Excuse me, <laughs> just burped. Anyway, I put in there on acrylic, I put in gold. Oscar marker and a few rip Oscar marker for the butts and stuff. And um, the helmet was also done by the same blue and yellow tape that turned into a green poxy kind of two substance. I mean two two bonding two bonding clay. That's it. Yeah, it's like mini put but different. I I said it previously about other bootleg buster videos, but you know it's um it's a weird way of saying it, but they call it, I call it green stuff. To it or as they call it here in Australia, green stuff, so I'll have breathing in the thing. And also, plus, I notice I'm not getting a lot of views on my bootleg buster videos, so this might even be my last one I ever do because no one's viewing it much. I used to get 200 300 views, and now it's kind of got reduced down to 10 to, to 11, which is very poor and very disturbing because I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I have shit at my job, or I have people who don't understand what I'm saying. And if it's that so, please write in my comments that I'm speaking too fast, or speaking too slow, or I sound muffled. I don't want to sound like an idiot in my videos. And also, I think you can see the cape is quite longer than its body because that came from a previous um, toy I did, which is called the Bat Lee toy. And that Bat Lee was, of course, a bootleg Batman. And it had a cape with it, and I always kept the cape when I first bought it. In fact, I think you can see it. Wait, I'll take it out. Yes, there you go. Uh -huh, here it is. It's also got a gun. It's a window with a gun. Bit of math. As you can see better than in the package. Hot glue the cape in the back. Looks almost like an elephant version of, of Darth Vader. I'll try to do the oil as much as I can. And if I've got a lot of time, you know, I'm not having any deadline to do it. And also, I think it's going wrong. Or maybe not. Now you can see the cursor on this toy. Yep, there it is. The bootleg troopers. That's it, the bootleg troopers here. There's a bootleg full fire. She's got its own comic. I'll do that later in the show. 
give me a second, I'm so sorry about this. So lazy when it comes to all that stuff. It is the thing pilot. I hope you can see a better look at this because this is my way to show you the details of it what I did. Still see some green shoulder paint on it. Hoping to sell this, hope to make a good living out of it because it's really ticking my parents off that I make toys I don't sell a lot as I used to be really do. But I guess you like kingdom, no one likes action figures unless you can find them. a competition for a competitor to do that for you. Anyway, down to the last figure, which is called the Bounty of Zub, Boba Fett, or Bootleg Fett, as I to call it. Continuing on this review. It's all fine, but I don't really get it. I'm going to miss it now. I've been here for three months, and I feel like it's fun, but things got to go to an end, I guess. I like this one, because the orange, I mean, the whole his uniform looks almost exactly like the one from the movie, from Star Wars. But this is actually apparently not an actual thing. And basically doing this set was sort of like my label of love for Star Wars and my hatred for the new ones because to be honestly fair, I did not really like The Last Jedi except for Luke Skywalker scenes. That's the only thing I liked, but anything else like put it to bed, just put it back in the bag because it's nothing. <laughs> anyway, that's what you get for bad merchandising. Anyway. Um, I'm trying to think what to do today because my mind's a bit blank now. Anyway. All painted in mixed acrylic paints. The leg was done by yellow, yeah, different kind of yellow. The belt was done and the reds were done by Posca marker. Brush Posca, that's it. And um, the helmet, yeah, same pack I used for the John Trooper's head and of course Darth Vader's head. The two yellow tape goes to green stuff, yeah. And why is it my favourite? Like I said, the colour looks just like Boba Fett from the actually 70s figures. I'm hoping to sell these for £20 each, if not, sell them £30 for a set because I really, really need to start selling my toys now because I need to move out. I'm hoping by this new year to do so. Here it is, Cheat Wars the Colour Book, I Am Your Cooker, which should be saying I Am Your Father, but like I said, there's a parody of Star Wars, so I'll take it too seriously. I'll be in the dark cardboard place called Space lies another cardboard place called Cardboard Space Station where the villain of this story lives and operates called Black Death. I mean that's what I call that character Black Death. And of course his companions, the white officers of space. I call the bootleg shooters because you know it's space with toy. And doing this sort of like you know when people make sort of silly that's how we say figurines like this, they'll write some weird synopsis in the back like a Batman figure will be in Batman he fights a villain known as SpongeBob or whatever. Because you know, they always mix scenarios with different characters. Anyway, this is sort of my think take on it. The Lord knows what this black of darkness wants, but all we know is he's lust for higher power and more power in his grasp. But there are others who want this power too. I hope you can see it, sorry. Yes. And um, the other is evil and has a bounty for, for power. But when all of them come together, they all fight for this power. But no one, but nobody won the fight. Sorry about that. And the moral of the story is, too much power is worthless. And there you have it. The Cheap Wars comic book. Very cheaply made, very cheaply drawn, very cheaply storied. It's funny. And also the idea for this came to that He-Man stuff. Because before the animated series of He-Man, they did a comic book based on the characters figures. He-Man had a comic book. Skeletal did. It was like, I think it was a backstory of this, of the origins. It was called He-Man the Master Universe, of course. But then eventually did this animated series and that made it successful within the comics, so yeah. Because I think when it comes to mech action figures, if if one I'm sorry I'm slurring. If one does not exceed, you have to need you have to need another franchise to push yourself up. And that's why they did the figure first and the animation second. So I guess if the figure turned out bad, the animation would be a bigger boost for the figures to have its comeback. You know, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. I'm hoping what I do here is not a waste of time. I love making toys, I love making cover stuff, doing all that pop culture stuff. My life ever since the day I was born or since the day I was turned free. Getting to Power Rangers and Michael Jackson, Bart Simpson, McDonald's, you name it. Those are my life. And I've grown up 27 years old, still haven't made a business out of it. I do, but it's a small press. I want to make a big deal or at least a living out of it. If that makes sense. But that's life. But, like I, but I get some a lot of footage from my mentor saying that don't ever give up life will be stressful life will be sort of I would say 
urging to do something that you don't want to do or something you want to do but it will take time and long but you gotta be patient and like I said I might get a lot of food from these bootleg busters but what can I say I guess people are moving on or I guess I'm just shit out of my life anyway, I'll keep on doing no matter what no matter what happens keep on living your dreams so here you have it cheap wars and of course bootleg buster episode 34 good night or good day because it's morning now so yeah